Hello, welcome to my channel today, The King Shooter. The first time of joining us, thank you for clicking to this and show your like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Okay, now I want to continue our series on issue of shares. Though we've seen the previous video, the introduction aspect in which we saw um, different aspect of issuing shares and also their accounting entries. If you have not seen that video, I'll drop it up here. I'll drop it in my description. Okay, and also we said we have solved um, diverse questions, full questions on issue of shares. I also encourage you to watch that. I'll drop it here also, or also in my description. Or you check the playlist, you will see um, um, issue of shares. You see diverse videos on that aspect okay and i also want to encourage us we're on different social media handles we're on facebook on instagram on tiktok and sure you follow us on those platforms okay now i want to continue on issue of shares today we want to see um the over and under subscription of shares now what does it mean um, um over and under subscription of shares uh i think that we might come across or we will come across while we start solving full detailed video on um issue of shares or detailed solution on issue of shares okay now let's start with the first one on the subscription under subscription okay now what does under subscription mean now under subscription refers to um a situation whereby fewer shares are applied for in a company than what was issued for sale or what is available for sale okay remember we know that um the company what um, invites the public to subscribe to each shares to become part owner okay by buying shares so um we said on that subscription has happened in the company when fewer shares have been applied for than what is available to be sold okay for instance if we have let's say 300 shares that was applied for in a company and we're supposed to sell and we have like let me say 1000 shares we have 1000 shares issued shares but 300 shares was applied for it means this is an under subscription okay it means those that what that offered for these shares are far below what was what offered for what sell this and what an under subscription okay now why the next one which is over subscription over subscription refers to a situation whereby those that applied for the shares exceed what was issued the exceed that is the opposite of the under subscription okay for instance if we have same 1000 shares okay but what applied for this is 1500 applied for this 1000 1000 shares it means this and what over subscription that is those that applied exceeds what was what offered for sale okay now in the event of over subscription the excess application money will have to be refunded back to what the unsuccessful applicant those in which their shares were not what um allotted okay so we have that to what return it back to the unsuccessful applicant Okay, so that is under and what over subscription. Okay, now let's see this example that relates to um, the question so that we can dive on and um, we can solve it effectively. Now the question said on 1st January 2023, the Kings issued out 13,000 shares of one Naira nominal value at SPA, payable in full, but 14,000 shares were applied for. They said the Kings issued 13,000. This is what they issued. For one, one Naira nominal value at par, at par, payable in full. We have done what it means to be at par, okay? But it said, but 14,000 shares were applied for. Show the entries in the account. The excess application was refunded by the company. So this is a case of oversubscription, like what we just saw, because 13,000 was issued, but 14,000 shares was applied for. So let's see how... We can record in a situation like this. I remember they said excess application was refunded by the company. Okay? So, now let's solve this. Now, we're going to prepare both the journal and the ledger entry. Okay? So, remember what we treated that the last time. So, we have debit or we have credit. Now, so the first one, they said 
13,000 shares of one nominal value at par payable in full, or 14,000 shares were applied for. So we have applicants that apply for 14,000 shares. So it means they pay, they made payment of 14,000 shares. Now remember the amount they're paying, it said one naira nominal value at par. It means the issuing price and the nominal and the face value are the same, are equal, okay? So remember what was said, application paid into the bank, okay? So the bank, the bank will be debited with the amount, the filter application, Remember, it is one naira. One times fourteen thousand will be fourteen thousand. Okay, why the application is paying fourteen thousand? Okay, so we can I write our narration being amount paid on application. In amount paid on the application as 14,000. Now, but they said it was 10,000 shares that was issued. It means there's an excess application. But at the end, they said the excess application was refunded. So if it was refunded, they refund the excess. The excess is just what? 1,000 shares from the 14,000. You see, they issued this, but this was applied. So 1,000 shares in excess. So the bank will have to return it back. That the company will have to return it back. So it will not be the corresponding entry. So it will not be. Um, the bank is now paying back 1000 Why it will be received by the application 1000 Okay. Now, the narration will now be being refund of excess application. Being refund of what? Excess application. Okay. So that is. That is um, the second one. Now, why? So, why in the allotment of shares? Why the allotment of shares? It will not be. The application, the ordinary share capital. I remember I said the ordinary share capital, we allot shares based on the face value, okay? So it will not be 13,000. So it will be given 13,000. My denominator is 13,000. This is the actual amount of um, issued share capital. So it will not be being allotment of what? Shares. Being allotment of shares, okay? Very important. Okay, so that is the um, the journal entry. Now let's prepare the ledger. And the ledger will not be our bank. Our bank. Now we'll have application. Then we'll now have ordinary share capital. Okay, now the first is the application paid in money to the bank, 14,000. So right here, the bank, 14,000. It received here, it's coming from application, 14,000. But they have to return SS, okay? So it will be credited there to the, by the bank, refund of 1,000. So it's coming here. As refunds of what? 1000. Okay, so the ordinary share capital allotted the actual um, amount of shares. So they allotted um, 13,000. So it is now application 13,000. So the corresponding entry is coming here. So it will now be ordinary share 13,000. So that if we add here together, it will give us 14,000 balanced by itself, okay? 14,000. Now, why? Here now, we we'll now have a balance carry down of 13,000. To make this 14. To make this 14. So, we we'll have balance brought down of what? 
13,000, which is the actual amount since they've refunded the excess application money. Okay, so that is how to prepare the um, over subscription and what under subscription. Okay, thank you for clicking this. Thank you for watching thus far. Ensure you like, comment, and sure you subscribe to this channel and share and ask your question in the comment section below. Okay, now we're going to see. Um, remember in the previous video, we saw um, um, the aspect in which they are paying in full on application. We're going to see in the next video payment by installment and how we're going to record it. Okay, thank you very much. Ensure you share to other platforms. Remember to follow us on different um, social media handles on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Thank you very much.